This is the bombshell, people. Terrell 03 claiming that he is Adam and God and the father of the people in the chat room. Uh, I'm, this video was put out and relayed to me by Envy Life 904 Great guy. Uh, I'm going to link you to his channel and hook up with his network over at the Truth Seekers. Um, you know, Planet X research room. These guys are just on the ball. But let's check out what uh, Terrell has to say, shall we? About 12 minutes. I started viewing this, and about four or five minutes in, I said, I'm getting this out pronto. I don't need to hear any more. Uh, but if you feel compelled to tell us anyway, then uh, I guess go ahead. I just, I just hope that no one really does get hurt as a result. Also, know you wouldn't do anything that would put us in jeopardy, right? Okay. Back it up. Well, Daper, your your voice of reason there. This is the voice of reason of Zoe. I miss Zoe a bunch, and the reason that Zoe's not here right now is because of this same truth. And Nikki Carlyle, if you guys remember her from the past, and other people that stumbled upon this same very thing that I'm about to tell you. I'm going to tell you, and people are going to be destroyed because of it, but I can't help that. I'm just going to tell you. Okay, are you ready? You guys ready? This is the truth. It's, my brother's been my witness of it for his entire life. He's experienced things that you cannot believe if I told you. And he's told me never to tell anybody because he's afraid. But I'm just going to tell you, it's not going to make any sense to Biscuit because he just walked in the gate. <laughs> okay. The, uh, the truth is that tell, it means something. It's the man of the earth thing. Man of heaven, man of the earth. The man of heaven is Christ. The man of the earth is your father Adam. It's a very simple truth. I know. It is. So I've been here before. You haven't, but I have. And the fact is that you're my children. It's the reason that you hear it in my heart that I really dearly care about you. Because I do. I can't help it. It's because... Yeah. You know, it's not only that... I'm your father Adam from Genesis 2-7, so I'm your mother too. <laughs> I know how that's that sounds, but the Lord God did not send me to you. He did not send me to testify to you. He sent me to testify to those that come after you. Because you're about to be taken from this world. You're going to be taken up, and you're going to sit in heavenly places. And then whenever the Son of Man on the earth waves his hand, then you're going to be the ones that make things happen. You're the ones that make the earth transform back into a garden. So in the Old Testament, when Scripture says in the last two, te in the last two verses, it says that the Lord God is going to send Elijah the prophet, in the day, and then he's going to restore the hearts of the fathers to children, which is innocence, and he's going to restore the hearts of the children to the fathers, which is immortality. The Lord God's getting ready to do that. And uh, you're here to witness it in the time of darkness. That's the most, that's very important. We're going to look back into this time of darkness. And you're going to have things told to you that could only be told to you by the Son of Man that came from, it's not just that being your father Adam, it's that, well, when I came from, from the end of time. That's where vapor plasma integrated engines come from, and pressure sheet technology and a thousand other technologies that I'd like to share, except for the world would want to kill me, just like John the Baptist. You know, so I'm like sitting inside of an envelope that the Lord God has created for me here, so that I can tell the truth from the future, standing in present day, to you guys. Because I really do care about humanity and the people, the six day people, the seventh day people, the amphibious people, 
the people in the spaceships, the Anunnaki, all of them are all sons of the same. Yeah. So that's where my answers come from. That's where the three witnesses of scriptures come from. Nobody else ever thought to interpret scripture that way, but that's the truth, the way that God intends for everybody to interpret his word. And so, I mean, that's the truth. I've already told it to you. I can't take it back. And it explains a lot of things. And I know at least a whole bunch of more questions. And some of those I'm not going to be able to answer. Because eventually we're going to get to the point that you're asking questions and I'm giving you answers that's going to destroy you. And I'm sorry for that. But it's the truth. Now, I can tell you that in my life that I've seen things that, you, that it's just very difficult just to, to convey. Earthquakes, volcanoes, people raised from the dead right in front of me, and all kinds of strange things that have happened that I could not explain myself. And it took me, it took my near-death experience and other experiences to wake me up to what's exactly happening here. It didn't happen overnight. It happened over a long period of time. Not just that soul, man. A lot of other things that are difficult to explain. So, the work God led me to do is Bible work and to do the 9-11 work and now to do this work. This is what I'm going to do. This is what he sent me to do and I'm going to continue doing it. So help me God. Okay? And I'm going to explain to the world what's happening to the world according to the science and the heavy mass object. March 22nd, 2012. And together, as a team, we're going to wake up as many people as we can, and we're going to change the present from the future. Because in the past timeline, this did not happen. This this movement did not didn't take place. And it, but it is taking place right now. We're changing the present. That's what we're doing. And this is what the Lord God wants me to do. I don't know if He wanted me to necessarily do what I did right now, but. That's what's in my heart of hearts. So I don't care if I'm poor, because I know I'm a king, Bad. and I'm a pauper in the kingdom at, at this time. But I know that's all about to turn around. The whole Bad. universe belongs to me. Bad. So it doesn't matter if I'm a poor person now. It's the way that people treat you when you're poor is the way that you figure out who they really are. And the people that are helping me now, people like Starlet, people like Birdie and Lady, is that a girl? You know, you are the ones that are really helping me. And Aurora, I really admire Aurora and the advice that you've given me over the past. You know, when I'm poor and I'm naked and I'm nothing, you came along and you put your hand out and you helped me. And you're going to see a great reward in the future, paper two. And you're the ones that came along and you took this thing by the horns and you helped people that you didn't even know, just like I am. To show them, you know, how they can be saved from this thing that's coming. You know, and all all of this means something. It means a whole. It means a great deal in the future. And you're going to stand in glory soon. It's not going to be that long. When we pray now. We don't all this is going to make Jesus perfect Christ, sense. In Jesus' name, amen. But it's how you say, treat somebody, the king, when he's a pauper, that matters. Not when he's a king and he's standing in front of everybody in his all of his fine adornment. It's this when he's a pauper. See, right here, so the ones that are coming along and helping. Group. Whenever I'm a popper, you're the ones that are going to be rewarded with great, great glory beyond words. It's a really great thing. And I'm blown and, and so away. I really thank you. And I'm a little bit angry at Sub because you weren't supposed to put me in this position. But this is part of the thing that's going on here. And I'll explain it to you so that it makes sense. Okay. Sub was on the phone. He was on the Skype with me one night. And sub -zero. sometimes things oh, that I'm there. thinking on no, the inside of me happens on the outside of me. I can't control it. I have the ability to stop clocks and things in my mind when I'm concentrating. And so, whenever we signed off on Skype, then he didn't go offline. <coughs> Some reason, somehow or another, it stayed connected, even though it was, I had Skype turned off completely, but some way that the connection remained. Ah. And in my mind, I desperately, I was hearing a double sound, and I was frantically running around trying to fix it. 
And I can't believe whenever this. it happened, then I'm blown away about it. This thing that happens in my life sometimes. No, that then the shit I wanted to try to turn off the problem. And what happened was that Seb's it. wife jumps out of bed <laughs> and runs over and starts doing what's happening in my mind. Oh. Yeah, I know, Sub. Uh, so I told him the truth. That it's not the first time it's happened. It's happened to me plenty of times in the past. I don't do it on purpose. I don't control people and make them do things. I notice. I'm doing things inside of my mind. All these Christians and it affects people that are in my environment. They're not just next to me. On the other side of the planet. I can't help it. I don't do it on purpose. It just happens. Not only that. A lot of other things have happened that have no other explanation. They're supernatural I don't, I don't things. Get on the, I don't get up here and say shit. So, like over the course of my 54 I mean, years, like throw and it came to be, I, more shit like along, along I had to wake up and realize what was going on and find the common denominator. I am a good researcher, kind of and I had to figure out what was happening so, and come to find out like that I'm your father like Adam. I, I want to see all these things. He's okay. I mean, I thought Maybe you want to ask him about that. But, I, but, I but anyway, the J this is something that's happened. Uh, no, the, the, she the, she went over and did what I did road, in my mind. The road, was the, 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 sound the road builder or whatever the, I call him, told the to turd builder. Yeah, Luke chapter three know. verse thirty-eight. Yeah, <laughs> that's who I am. I know it sounds crazy. Whenever people mm -hmm. say, "I wouldn't know you from oh, no, Adam," it just makes me laugh. It does. Um, out there. Well, you guys are a unique group because you're awake, no? No. and you've been kind of attracted to this light, and now you kind of understand why. This is bigger than all of us, not just the heavy mass object, what's about to happen to the world, what's going to happen to this mm -hmm. entire creation. Something is about to happen, yeah. and it's glorious. So don't there's be scared no of it. No you don't have to be scared, scared of it. Well, something that's happening is great. Now, if you're a member of the Antichrist body, you need to be very afraid because they're about to go in the lake of fire. But for I you, the that. children I'd of light, what's about to happen to us is wonderful. You so just go with it. Bad. It's a great thing. It is. Yeah. You can trust God. You trust God, right? Well, keep trusting Him because it is a great thing. And then everything that I'm telling you now in this time of darkness is going to make perfect sense. And then you're going to realize... What I'm saying it to you is true. Every yeah. word of it it's is true. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to benefit anything by lying to you. <laughs> and <laughs> now, you, now you guys at least know what the truth is. Open my... Um, thank you, Toe, for sharing that. Um, I have actually, just like you uh, predicted, I do have some questions. Uh, my first of which being... Um, how, how did you figure this all I out? Fed good tonight, so how did you come to the conclusion that that, that you were Adam? Probably won't be uh, number two is, do you have the ability... I'm being very serious, or I'm being 100% serious. Um, do you have the ability to um, know whether someone... Is wow, there you have it. I mean, that was excruciating. The man that brought you the Ozark Cave in the brown dwarf, dwarf star, or who tried to, excuse me, uh, didn't, but tried to, now he's trying to lead you into the Garden of Eden. Uh, he is Adam. He is God. He is... Oh, good Lord. Nice find, Envy Life. Uh, everybody, check out the link below to Envy Life channel and connect with him on Pal Talk and his research group. Just outstanding guys. And get the hell away from this Terrell character. All of you sheep, please. He is the fiber that made the rope that steered the sheep to hell. Good Lord.